Howdy y'all, my name is Caroline, and it is finally time to talk about bookshelf organization. So like I said, my name is Caroline, and I'm a content creator here at Utini. And if any of y'all saw my last video here on the channel, you may have heard me mention that I care deeply about bookshelf organization. So I have lots of thoughts and opinions on how bookshelves should be organized generally. And I've realized that those thoughts and opinions can also apply specifically to organizing Star Wars books. So if you're like me and have an entire section of your bookshelf or even a whole shelf dedicated to Star Wars books, then you might be a little lost on how to organize them. So what we're going to talk about in this video is the variety of options that you have. I'm going to be showing you all four ways you can organize your Star Wars books and then a kind of bonus fifth way of how I have mine set up currently. Spoiler, the way I have it organized is basically a combination of everything you'll see in this video. And to me that's honestly the best part about organizing a bookshelf is that you can make it completely your own. I highly encourage anyone who cares about organizing their books to do so in a way that best works for them. Like I said, I'll go over it in more detail um, about how I have my books now, but not until after we hear all about four other ways you can organize your bookshelf. So let's dive right in. Here's just an overview of what my entire bookshelf looked like at the time of filming this video. The bookcase is made up entirely of my fantasy and sci-fi collection, including middle grade and YA books in the genre. I have two shelves dedicated to just Star Wars books that are quickly filling up. I can still remember just a few months ago when I was excited just to have one shelf completely filled with Star Wars books. When I first started filming, I realized I had them essentially separated into legends and canon and then organized by size. I also incorporated subcategories like color and era where possible, but I was mainly just going for both what looked the best and made sense for organizational purposes. So first we have to clear all the books off and then clean the shelves and we can get to organizing. So first up we have height. Like I mentioned before, subcategories are also great to keep things organized. So here I still kept legends and canon together within their respective heights. I believe that the superior choice when it comes to aesthetic choices for bookshelves is height. I truly think it looks the best and I just think it makes more sense. People have both loved me and hated me when I pointed out how much better organizing by height looks more so than any other category. I mean, just look at that. It's beautiful. Next up, we have color. Color is perhaps the most popular aesthetic choice when it comes to organizing a bookshelf. And when done right, it can be quite pleasing to look at. My biggest issue usually with organizing by color is that it usually means breaking up series. Whereas with height, if you buy all of a series in the same format, you don't have that problem. I will say I didn't hate how my books looked when they were organized by color. I think the bottom shelf looks better and stronger than the top one. That's the other issue with color is that sometimes you only have one or two books in a certain color, making it a little harder to establish that color. It's also harder to have subcategories when organizing by color. I think I tried my best to maybe keep some more heights together, but I was still mostly just going by spine color. So next up we have timeline order, and I can't lie, organizing by timeline order took a while. But thankfully I had a handy dandy timeline to refer to on utini.com, said timeline is linked in the description. Once again, I separated canon and legends and then had a third section of books that aren't quite either. I also kept comics by themselves instead of mixing them in with the books, but still kept them in timeline order. Obviously, this isn't the most aesthetically pleasing way to organize your books, but it is great for reference and knowing exactly where a book might be on your shelf. And again, the only reason this was even possible for me was because of the Utini timeline. It's a super helpful resource that I highly recommend you checking out.
the last category I tried was separating the books I've read from what's on my TBR. From there, I was able to break everything down into multiple subcategories, mainly still going by height, but also trying to distinguish a little bit between canon and legends. And even further, I kind of was able to go by color, though not very extensively. I ended up liking this organization a lot more than I thought I would, so much so that I filmed this months ago and I kept my shelves like this for quite a while, actually. I only just recently changed them again. So now that we've talked about four pretty distinct ways to organize your Star Wars books, I want to tell y'all a little bit about how I organize mine. So for a long time, I actually kept it in that last organization that you saw with the red and TBR separated. But since then, because of the addition of some books and the addition of some figures and just wanting a little bit of a change, I've rearranged my shelves completely which shouldn't be a shock to anyone who knows me. So I'll show you all some close-up footage of what my shelves look like now. This is what my shelves look like as of January, 2022. I decided to basically separate by era. For the most part, I kept canon and legend separate, but as you can see, I put the novelizations for episodes one, two, and three with my other prequels novels. There wasn't a whole lot of reason for this choice. I think partially it was just based on the space I had, but it really just made sense to me for some reason to have it that way. Within each era, I've organized by height as best I could. Things get a little dicey there in the middle, but I was basically just trying to keep everything in somewhat timeline order. Then there are my Legends books, and lastly, my Canon Comic Trade paperbacks. Nothing about this system is perfect, and it probably doesn't make sense to anyone else. But like I said, it's all about finding what works best for you. Also, you can see I incorporated a couple of stylistic choices. I have a number of books facing forward in order to show off their covers because how could I hide that stunning beauty of the out-of-print edition of The Fallen Star? I mean, come on. So I think that's gonna do it for me. Please let me know in the comments how you organize your Star Wars books. If anything, I'm curious for ideas for the next time I inevitably rearrange my shelves. And let me know if any of this is helpful. Like I said, sometimes I know it can be overwhelming to think about how you wanna organize your Star Wars books, so I hope this helps. And let me know what you think of my new arrangement, because I like it. <laughs> Truly, Organizing my bookshelves is one of my favorite pastimes. There's something about it that's just like therapeutic in a way. It's just a nice way to kind of unwind and focus all your brain power on something that doesn't really matter, but can still end up making you feel really happy. While you're leaving a comment, don't forget to subscribe to Utini and click the bell so you get notifications every time we upload a video. And make sure to follow us on social media and join our Discord, all of which will be linked in the description box below. I have found that the collections channel in our Discord is a great place to talk about bookshelves and bookshelf organization. So head on over there to continue this conversation. Also, if you like what we do here, don't forget to support us on Patreon. Again, that link will be down below. That's going to do it for me and I will see y'all in the next video. May the force be with you.